Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is August the 7th, 2019. Now, I'm not a big awards guy. In fact, I often fade award winners when I'm placing bets. Right? To me, many of these awards are really not worth that much because we get caught up in the moment. We like a guy's personality. We like the fact that the guy is a great cultural ambassador for the sport. And then we overlook his peers who are actually doing more on the court, right? Young people would come up to me from time to time over the years and they would say, gee, how did Carl Malone win multiple MVPs over Michael Jordan, right? They couldn't figure it out based on the stats, right? We forget that there was a time when Jordan was viewed as a controversial figure, right? A lot of this is just straight politics. Well, to me, you just had an absolutely absurd, I mean, completely ridiculous vote take place for the NBA's all-decade team for the last decade, right? Absolutely ridiculous. This even tops the absurdity of Giannis beating James Harden for the MVP when Harden, of course, won the scoring title by more than six points and had a run that rivaled Wilt Chamberlain during the season, right? Scoring over 40 points a game and stuff like that in addition to averaging two steals a game, in addition to other stats, right? Well, on the all-decade team, you have Kawhi Leonard, excellent player, right? I'm not a hater. Folks, today, just for the crowd, I'm actually wearing a replica Raptors championship ring that has Leonard's name engraved on the side. I'm not a hater. Kawhi Leonard's a guy I really respect, right? I'm a big Michael Jordan fan. Other than Kobe, Kawhi is really the closest to Jordan I've seen on both ends of the court in terms of being a good offensive player who just refuses to take plays off on defense, right? I have the utmost respect for him. Um, he doesn't deserve to be on the all-decade first team. He just doesn't. Let me point out, just like the 2019-2020 season counts toward the next decade, right? Hasn't happened yet, wasn't part of this vote. Well, understand the 2009-2010 season counted toward the decade they just voted on. Right now, understand, a guy like Kawhi could be a great person. Um, he delivered a championship to Toronto, a city outside of the United States, first time in NBA history, right? He's done a lot of great things, but we're so caught up in the moment, we're forgetting that Kawhi didn't even play more than 10 games the season before. Right? We're forgetting the fact that in terms of, you know, making all NBA teams during the decade, right? All NBA first teams. Kawhi can't match Dwight Howard. Now let's focus on Dwight Howard because it, it's ridiculous, really. Understand, the decade is 10 seasons long. If you're dominant at the first half of the decade, right, that should still count. Understand, you have guys on the first team here who didn't play all 10 years in the decade. Right now, now just understand that Dwight Howard made first team all NBA, right? First team all NBA three different times during the decade. Understand that Dwight Howard made second team All-NBA another time. And understand Dwight Howard made third team All-NBA in a different season. 
So that's five seasons. Five. With Dwight Howard, his first, second, or third team All-NBA, with three of them being first team. Now let's be blunt here. Kawhi Leonard cannot match that record. It's even more ridiculous when you look at the first team and you realize they don't have a center. Right? I'm sorry, KD is not a center. Right? So they just overlook the big man position. Then they decide, hey, let's overlook. But let's just flat out overlook. Three first team all NBA picks, right? <laughs> Understand some of the guys on the first, second, and third team, if, if you look at the group, some of the guys don't even have more than three all-star appearances. Dwight Howard, three first team all NBA with a second team and a third team, right? So forgive me, this looks like political marketing here. Looks like people are so caught up in the moment that somehow Dwight Howard, who should be on the first team over Kawhi Leonard, right? I'll bow down to the other guys. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Steph Curry. I'll bow down to those guys. But let me just say this, Dwight Howard not only didn't make the first team All-NBA, folks, believe it or not, he didn't make the second or third team All-NBA. <laughs> How is that possible? You have some guys there who haven't made the number of first team All-NBAs on a year-by-year -year basis that Dwight Howard did. Let's face it too. Dwight Howard isn't quite who he was in his prime right now because of injury. Right? But yet, he elicits no sympathy because we're all caught up in the moment and we're all overvaluing the last two or three years. You know, maybe Giannis is going to develop into some great player, right? That's a distinct possibility. Somebody here in the comment section of this video tell me how he made third-team All-NBA for the decade over Dwight Howard. Right? Understand, again, he doesn't have Dwight's credentials. He hasn't done what Dwight has done in the decade, right? So the gamblers out there, please, if you're handicapping a game, don't think in terms of, oh, this guy won the MVP. What does that mean? That we were in love with the guy's personality and we were in love with the moment the guy played in and we then picked him over somebody who might be more talented but like Jordan, may have been out, you know, gambling, may have chosen baseball over basketball for some stretch of time. If you believe the rumors that David Stern pushed him out as a penalty for gambling aren't true, right? The bottom line is sometimes you, you have guys like Carl Malone, great player, one of the best I've seen. Never Jordan, right? Should never beaten Jordan, quite frankly, in those MVP contests, right? Sometimes you have guys like Kawhi, where we say, wow, you know, look at all the hype when he was a free agent. You know, wow, multiple teams are pulling out all the stops. The Lakers have Magic at a meeting, and Magic's not even employed by the team at the time. Right? The Clippers take Kawhi to Doc Rivers' mansion, and they have people like Jerry West there and the owner, Steve Ballmer. You know, Drake is showing up at the, you know, meeting with the Raptors. Look, I get it. This last year belonged to Kawhi Leonard. 
and Giannis. I get it. Neither guy is more deserving of an all-decade team than Dwight Howard. Neither guy. I don't care what Howard's reputation is right now. Understand, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. Surefire. All you have to do is look at the number of years in which the guy was first team all NBA. By the way, for the last decade, that number is three with a second team and a third team added in. Right? So the NBA is a master at marketing. The people voting on these things are really caught up in the moment. I remember when we thought and we asked ourselves whether Brett Favre was the best quarterback who ever lived, right? This was with Brett Favre having one Super Bowl ring. And in that Super Bowl, his return man won the MVP, Desmond Howard, right? I remember when we asked the question of whether Peyton Manning was the best quarterback who ever lived, right? Overlooking another Colt quarterback, guy named Johnny Unitas, right? Overlooking a quarterback, Joe Montana, <coughs> who wins four Super Bowls without throwing a pick, right? Overlooking others, right? Ali Matson, uh, people from the past. We were that caught up in the moment, right? So caught up that. Here's Tom Brady, a contemporary of Peyton's. And, you know, during the Peyton discussion and the love fest, right, people seem to overlook the fact that when they faced each other in big time playoff games, most of the time, Tom won them. Well, right now, that's happening in the NBA, right? Kawhi Leonard, hey, God bless him. I think he's a tremendous player. I have his name on my ring. Right? Tremendous. Tremendous player. But gee, you know, <laughs> at, at a certain point, let's recognize actual accomplishment. Right? Giannis, great smile, great ambassador. The Bucks, great story. Right? People get tired of these coastal teams winning a lot. Here are the Bucks. Here are the Raptors. They're coming in and beating teams and, you know, fighting off traditional franchises like the Boston Celtics. Hey, I'm all for it. Right? But please don't tell me that Giannis deserved the MVP more than James Harden. If you're a Giannis supporter, go ahead and let me have it in the comment section of this video. Educate all of us, including me, please. Right? But please don't tell me that Giannis deserves to be on an all-decade team ahead of Dwight Howard, right? That's ridiculous. Let's remember, there was a part of the last decade that preceded the Warriors revolutionizing the game from the three-point line. There was a part of the last decade where big men mattered. A guy cannot make three NBA first teams in a decade and not be able to make any of the NBA all-decade teams while guys like Giannis, right, young new star, right, young new star, guy who's just emerging, guy who hasn't been to an NBA Finals, right, guys like Giannis are on the all-decade team. Folks, that's marketing, right? People need to view these awards with a grain of salt. When you hear a guy has won an Oscar or has won an NBA MVP, right? I hope folks understand, hey, well, this really reflects the moment and the goodwill among the voters and the fact that the guy's personality was more in tune with the people voting on the award than it does actual excellence.
That's how I see it. Dwight Howard deserved to be treated better. Right? Either the portion of the decade, the first half of the decade matters in an all-decade vote, or it doesn't. Right? The worst part, too, is there's a Dirk crowd out there that's saying, hey, our guy got dissed in this vote. Now, Dirk's one of the best shooting big men I've seen. Right? But let's just say, as dissed as Dirk was, he wasn't dissed to the extent that Dwight Howard was. There hasn't been the outcry for Dwight Howard. I'm stepping up here and just pointing out what's obvious. Right? If you're a three-time first all-NBA team guy, then in another year you're on the second team. Then in another year you're on the third team. <laughs> You deserve to be, in my opinion, on the first team All-NBA for the decade. If you're not, and they're going to diss you, how do they diss you to the point where you're not on second or third team while guys like Giannis are on the third team? That's a recency bias, isn't it? That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there are other players who you feel have been dissed, who belong on the first team, all NBA here, or any of these teams, I hope you leave that information in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.